Hey there, today I'm gonna to be talking about morel mushrooms in the Ozarks. And it's a little fun and different because I'm usually talking about real estate, but this kind of goes along with that because I'm gonna be showing you a little property too, although it's not for sale. Anyway, morel mushrooms are a gourmet food, I think, and you can only find them once a year here in the Ozarks about right now, which is mid-April. Last night we had a heavy rain and actually all day it rained yesterday. Today it's nice and sunny. So it's the perfect environment um, to find the mushrooms. And we're gonna go out there and I'm gonna take you with me and we can see if we can find some. But first, I wanna give you some tips and tricks on how to get ready for a morel mushroom hunt, uh, especially the tick spray. So first I'm gonna show you how to get prepared for your mushroom hunt. You need tick spray and something to put your mushrooms in and you want to dress for the woods so it was a little chilly today i had to put on the sweatshirt and i love my baggy levi's just in case you get some ticks crawling up your leg you can get to them really easy now you see these twigs here there's going to be ticks on those sometimes and when you're brushing against them with your legs that's why you want to use tick spray on your legs and your arms and this is our favorite brand, which is made by Coleman for mosquitoes and ticks. It's a really good brand. We've used it for years and I'm about out. So I'm going to use the last little bit today. And I just spray it all over my jeans, my shoes, and a little on my hands and my wrists. Because that's where the ticks are going to start crawling on you first. Unless they drop from the trees on your shoulders. Um, which could happen. So I saved this bag when I bought a set of twin sheets from Target and you never know what to do with things like this, right? But I saved this and then I found it thinking this is a great mushroom bag because as you're putting your mushrooms in there, it's got a little drawstring and also as you're walking through the woods, hopefully some of those spores will fall out into the woods and grow more mushrooms. So let's see what we can find. Let's get out there. So we're going to see lots of wild native plants like these may apples here as we're walking along. And also I wanted to mention, ladies, get some really good shoes. I'm wearing Solomon's today, which are my favorite. You don't want to wear sandals out here. Too many twigs and it's just going to hurt really bad. So here's a picture of the morel mushrooms I'm looking for. They look like a brain or I've heard some people say they look like a sponge. And they can be found anywhere in the woods. They can be under a log, out in the middle of the leaves, in a grassy area. You know, it's just very hard to tell where you're going to find them. But usually they really like the eastern slope of the hills because they get the morning sun. And especially if we have a rain the day before and it's nice and moist, then that morning sun is going to make the mushrooms pop right out and usually you'll be able to find them that afternoon or the next day. And as you can tell, I keep looking for the mossy areas to have a little mushroom or two, and I don't see them on this hillside. Actually, my husband is up the hill for me, and he's finding a few, and then he's going to find a bunch more. So later in the video, you'll get to see a lot of mushrooms. So here's the first four. They don't look too bad. They might be a couple days old, but they're still edible. And yeah, we're gonna save those for sure. And now I'm gonna continue on down the hill and I realize I'm in a cedar glade. So this is gonna be a little too shady of an area to find mushrooms because they're not gonna get the morning sun even though I'm on an eastern side of the slope. So I'm gonna continue on and show you a little scenery. And then I just happened to come across some wildflowers. These are called Sweet Williams. And then we have some wild ferns starting to pop out. And in the summertime, they get really uh, big and lush, especially as we get closer to the creek down here, which I'll show you here in a minute. And then here's another big, beautiful bunch of Sweet Williams. Don't you just love the color of these? And they smell so good. So now that I've made it to the valley, I'm going to just kind of take a little break here at the creek because... It's a nice spot to take a little rest, and I just love listening to the water. Do 
Deer trails are also a great place to find mushrooms because when they're walking through the woods, they're stirring up the dirt and the spores, and Matt always says that he can find mushrooms on a deer trail, which he does on the other hillside while I'm kind of looking at flowers right now. And I'm going to savor the dogwoods for a moment because they're just not going to last very long. Now it's time to make our way back and one last little hunt here around this mossy oak. But yeah, you would think a mushroom would be here, but it's not. I don't think the valleys get enough sun. So you got to focus on those hillsides that are going to get the most morning sun. Just like what Matt did, he was in the right spot at the right time and got these four. And I'm going to take a break while he goes out and looks for some more mushrooms, which he finds 40 mushrooms on the other hillside in the back of the property. So he did really well finding these mushrooms and now we're soaking them in salt water and the salt water is going to take um, all the little bugs and dirt out. It's going to clean the mushrooms and you want to rinse them a couple of times before you eat them. Now we always fry our mushrooms and this time we uh, put some milk on them and then rolled them in cornmeal, fried them in butter. You can also use oil. You can use any kind of batter you want to, but these are a little lighter version and they were super yummy, especially with the duck eggs that I got from the neighbor today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I have lots of other videos on the Ozark, so please subscribe and give me a like.